we have time for discussion. At least five minutes. Takže máme pět minut. Já bych to uh, možná bys. Uh, if you agree, we can maybe discuss the last points. It, it, it's, I think it's interesting this lesson lessons learned for me. A já, já bych to přeložil do češtiny a možná, že to vyvolá ve vás nějakou diskuzi, ten můj překlad ještě taky. Přemýšlejte, přemýšlejte zatím. Takže jsou, jsou proto dosáhnout vlastně rozvoje té kvality, což dělali pět let a více, tak jeden z těch bodů je teda, že to je běh na dlouhou trať, že se s tím musíme smířit a musíme to tak přejmout, takže to je jedno, to, co to long, long lasting breath. <laughs> The long time, five years and more years in the developing. Um, takže to je jedna věc. Pak je tam ty profesní organizace, že mají silnou roli a že jsou velmi významné v tom, potom, v tom posunu. Pak je tam uh, potom, že, že není možné vytvořit nějakou, nějaký standard nebo nějakou certifikaci nebo nějaký systém celý, který všichni přijmou. To prostě nejde. <laughs> takže um, vlastně oni už mají totiž svoje různý typ profesy už mají svoje systémy, jak se certifikují, jak měří, takže, takže spíš oni to dělají tak, jak jste si všimli, že, že prostě nabídnou ty kritéria a každý si tu značku může vlastně sám dobrovolně přijmout, to, co, to, co oni vytvořili. A taky řík, zajímavé je, že tam je, mm, že je potřeba zapojit úplně všechny do toho, úplně všechny stakeholders, všechny lidi, aby to jako fungovalo a že, že jsou důležitý public money, že bez těch to taky nejde. Takže na, na to, aby se to vůbec, aby se to vůbec inicio, aby se to rozjelo, tak prostě musí být ty veřejné peníze a pak teda už ne, ne třeba na to, aby se to udrželo a na začátku. A e, potom, že když se to implementuje, tak že se může stát, že vám někdo řekne, že pak interferujete do, 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 volný, do, do trhu vlastně, že, že nějaký trh a když tam vnášíte nějaké podmínky, tak můžete narušovat vlastně tu soutěž před toho trhu. Tak to bych chtěl říct. Tak jestli k tomu máte něco, co byste se chtěli zeptat? A nebo říct nějakou poznámku? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we started uh, with the foundation. Of course, we talked a lot to people, uh, and um, I mean, just to to um, make it clear, uh, you can just you know uh, start from 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 zero and uh, in my uh, active professional life um, the last 15 years i was uh, the head of the unit in the public employment service responsible for career guidance and so i had a lot of connections and uh, i'm quite a good networker so um, this helped i mean just you know from the starting point. And so I had a couple of people uh, and all the large, also the large, um, um, as one associations of, uh, association of practitioners in Germany, which has over 600 members, originally from the public employment service, but uh, after the abolishment of the uh, uh, monopoly, uh, they, um, they opened up and also private and other uh, members were there. So we started with the about 20 people and institutions um, to start with. And these were those where we, we could convince that uh, this would be a good thing. So we started in 2006 with 20, and we then we had, um, uh, what do you call this, satsung constitution, you know, for this, for this uh, thing. And uh, it says that uh, the um, um, board decides on new members, you know, if they want to. So what we actually were heading for to get all the relevant 
stakeholders and groups in society involved in it. So um, in the beginning, we sort of approached them. And then there was such a sort of a wave, you know, of uh, institutions saying, oh, we want to be member. So we had, um, what we were heading for, for instance, and what was a little bit difficult and still is difficult, we wanted to have representative of both social partners. The trade unions, we had three trade unions in, in uh, uh, um, uh, the um, uh, um, National Guidance Forum in the first two years, uh, but we don't really have um, uh, employer associations or the chambers of commerce or something like this. They, interestingly, they were engaged and involved and really co-worked with us on, for instance, the formulation of the mission statement. You know, so a lot of things would not be in there if they wouldn't have, you know, participated in this process. But in the end, being a member, they said, no, we won't, you know. So this is still something which we, we still hope to, to be able, because of course, uh, um, uh, uh, companies, enterprises, uh, and uh, uh, the, the economic world as such, they are interested in good guidance because this, you know, uh, uh, provides for them good workers, good good employees, and uh, good apprentices, and all this, you know. So, but still, we were not successful in having them. Uh, but then we had uh, all the professional associations, uh, higher education counselors. So they all came by themselves and said, "Oh, we want to be a member." Um, Research institutes, we approached them and they said, okay, yes, some of them did research, others were more involved in general vocational education, and so they support this idea. So um, we were until 50, 51, 52 members, but we also had a sort of a decline, you know, I admit that also. For instance, uh, in the beginning, as I uh, said before, the Federal Ministry of Labor was a member, and they said after the BQ concept was developed, they said, well, now mission completed, <laughs> and uh, so they withdrew, which is a uh, very... Um, uh, was very bad for us, you know, not only because they paid some money, uh, but also because um, uh, this was a signal, you know, to the world outside. So this was not very good. Then two of the three uh, trade unions withdrew because the um, argument, we are not acting politically enough. You know, they are sort of, you know, like trade unions are, you know. And our mission, and I really stand for that, is bringing people together, sharing ideas, finding common solutions, and not, you know, being aggressive and, and, and uh, work against government or so. Um, so two of them withdrew. I'm still working and trying to get them back again. And um, so, and uh, then, of course, I mean, there's a natural process of, and at the moment, I mean, I admit this, we are only 45 members, you know. So, um, and we really want, this is something to, we want mostly institutional members. Of course, we take, I'm, I'm an individual member because I don't anymore, because I'm retired, I don't belong to any institution anymore. So I'm a single member, an individual member, and so on. Uh, for instance, researchers, professors from from universities, not the whole university can be a member of the uh, guidance forum, so they are as as persons, as individuals, members. So this is, but we are really heading for institutional members. Okay. Tak ještě máme prostor jeden, třeba dotaz máte. Okay, it's a long, it's a long morning. <laughs> oh yeah. A znám standardy kvality a la česká země, mm -hmm. a to je prostě striktní, že jo, to s tím budeme muset jako napsat, ale mm -hmm. přijde jako kontrola, tak to je mm -hmm. fajn, že to už odložíme. Mm -hmm. 
It's a, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it's a question from, uh, you have experience from uh, cert uh, certification and uh, social work. We have a special system for this quality certification and criteria in the social work. Uh, and uh, the question is, if your standards, this 19 uh, standards, what it means exactly for for provider of for organization, they should follow it strictly. You control it some if they have this your sign of BQ and how you work with them or how yeah how hard it is for them to follow everything or. Okay, it's not that hard to <laughs> to to answer it in one in one sentence. Um, we build on this continuous process of quality development, quality sustenance, and uh, um, we um, uh, do not uh, control it. We um, can control it if we want, if we have the idea there's something not. Uh, 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 working good in this organization, then we have the right to go there and said, "Well, tell us and show us." They have to apply for the to, to get this this logo, you know, and uh, uh, in a written form, and then they have to put on their website uh, a sentence that says, "We adhere and commit ourselves and follow the BQ standards," but we're not controlling it. It's except for, uh, um, we just recently did this, you know, and uh, we said it is not a real certificate, it's just a label. We give the label uh, for those because we have, you know, these uh, 60 provider organizations who did it already in the whole process, this quality development process, and they said they, they want something to put on their website and to showcase, you know. So we said under these conditions you can have it, they also have pay a little bit money to give us a little bit re revenue for our, for our resources, um, and uh, after three years they uh, have to renew it, so we can still have a look. But we uh, explicitly say, with the bold print in here, that we are not. It's not a certification. It's not a really quality test. It's something like a label which shows. And it is also, you know, that um, uh, it is. Uh, we had in in the in the. Uh, um, um, project that Alisa just uh, um, presented. Uh, we had a presentation from the Matrix UK uh, uh, representative. And um, so they told us about how, how they did it and how, how they do it, you know. So this is very different, you know, and it is nothing that uh, sort of has hard hard controlling mechanisms, so, so there's something we, we, don't, uh, we don't do. We cannot because we are too small, then we would have to, you know, f uh, establish another organization, a commercial organization who does it, and then it's expensive, you know, and this withdraws people from doing it. There's also another thing. We have, uh, for instance, in Germany, uh, if uh, the ministry or the public employment service, they contract a lot of things out also, some guidance uh, provision and uh, unemployment care and things like this. Um, and um, they um, have to have a certain certificate already, you know, so, and uh, a lot of organizations say, well, I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, doing the same all over again, so I don't need it. But investing themselves for their own wish in a continuous quality development. And we had a, we had a survey, we made a survey among guidance uh, service providers and uh, it is, was a very interesting that especially the, the, the big ones they all needed this public employment service uh, certification um, but the smaller ones you know they were really interested in this development process so it's maybe a different kind of professionals working there you know so uh, and they were all they're really all involved it's the participation the participative process uh, involving all the staff members which maybe makes the difference, you know. And uh, then it is also so we say, uh, you decide on yourself which of our quality standards would be most um, urgent for you now to, to have revised. And then you work for a year on this with a process. And we support this with workshops. We have one, two, three, four workshops to support this 
process uh, within the year. And when you have finished and think this is okay, you can look, do you want another of those 19 standards which you think would be uh, um, um, necessary to review and to work on and then they can start again or they pause and then start another one again so it's it's really a continuous process and uh, uh, on their own decision and not, nothing which you have all three years say well filling in checklists and having somebody visiting them and afterwards <laughs> it's something like a bureaucratic process sometimes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not totally against uh, certification, but you also have to see uh, the black side or the worst sides of it also. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much for the question. We have been able to find out what is the most important thing here, that you can join all the workers of this process and that this is a little different and that it is a constant process and that you can support the organization. Thank you. I thank you because we, we go to another... Uh, thank you so much. It was very interesting also the kind of questions you have. I just want to point, point out again, I have a few copies of the stuff I have here, which I didn't point out to you was that there's also this English brochure on uh, career guidance in Germany as such, you know, so if you want. It's just a few ones. If you want more, it is all on the website and the English version is on the website, but I have it over there. Uh, if you want to just have a look in the pause, have a look at it. Thank you very much. It was really, very wonderful. Thank you. A wonderful audience. <laughs> yeah.